Hello, today we're going to be accessing data from the GitHub API using R. So originally uh, I was taking a Coursera course and we had to do something similar, um, but I noticed a lot of people have issues with this, so I'm just going to go through the full process and hopefully this helps someone. So the first thing we have to do is um, go to this link and basically you're just going to register an OAuth application. Um, so the first thing you do is click on register new application. Um, so the application name is important. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to call it YouTube Michael Glarnick because um, this is YouTube. Um, homepage URL. Um, I'm going to choose github.com. And obviously this is because the application is for GitHub. Uh, application description. You do really don't need one. Um, Authorization callback URL. Um, this is important. Um, in the documentation, it basically says to use this. Um, the next thing we're going to do is register the application. Um, actually, I'll change this to subscribe, please. Um, hint, hint. Okay, register application. So I have my client ID, uh, client secret, and everything else. So I have a page that goes through how to do all this. Um, and let's see where we are. OK, next thing we're going to do is test that it actually works. Um, and hopefully you don't get a 401 error, in which case you can uh, leave a comment and I can help you. So the one thing you have to do is because I put code on this gist, um, change your app name to whatever you put it as. So for me, it was subscribe, please. Um, and change your key and secret key. Um, so for me, I'm just going to copy from the gist, but you can just copy from the blog post if you like. So first thing I'm going to do is change all this stuff. So mine was subscribe, please. Um, let's see, where is my, oh, client ID is right here. And that's the key. And then secret is just the client secret. And that would be right here. Okay. And this should work. So I'm going to get uh, something that pops up just saying authorize. And that's it. Um, so I'll go over the code uh, briefly, at least. So the first thing you do is you install packages. Um, so I use JSON Lite, um, HTTPUV, and HTTR. Um, so install packages if you don't have them. Um, this is just useful. Um, this just depends on the application. For me, um, I use GitHub. If you're ever curious on what the things do, after you load the libraries, you can always just do question mark and then you know see what it does. Um, so this next line is the most important, um, which changes it based on what you have. So for mine, it would have been subscribe, please, and then whatever I had over here. Um, this is what you'll change. And then uh, down here, it's worth noting that after getting the JSON, I converted it to a data frame, and then I subset my data frame. Um, and that's it for now.